Hey everyone, welcome to Message in the Haunted Mansion. Game number three in the Nancy Drew series and the first ever PC game that I played. This is gonna be awesome. The computer screen's a bit dim though, I think it's because of the sun. And just in case, I'm gonna check to see if there's Listen brightness settings there or not. So I guess I'll just have to put up with this brightness for the whole game. Maybe it'll get better. I don't know. So let's get started. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. Welcome to my latest. Well, she's at old haunt mansion right now in this game. In San Francisco. I'll tell you about right here. Hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, too. Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. Yeah, Nancy always finds this stuff out. Um, okay, so... I'm just looking up something real quickly. I meant to do this before I started recording, but I didn't, so... No, wait, maybe... No, ah, dang it. I knew I should have looked this... Uh, you know what, I'll just... This, there we go. Found it. Okay, I was hoping I had enough time in the letter, but apparently not. Okay, let's get this game going. Alright, so, this is the very first answer you game I did, and there's no errors in this game. And, uh, so, this is Nancy's suitcase. You have a bunch of stuff in here. It's her journal. She'll write stuff in here eventually. But she hasn't carried it around until, uh, Na Secret of Shadow Ranch, I believe. So let's see here. We have a poem on the wall. Listen, my child, to this story, story of dreams, dreams, and know that Begin. the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in yeah, your uh, hand, yet to when the bird of fire can see so again, Nancy will know it. when the moon sleeps and the sun plays. The king of the sky will shine his ray, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden wonders. Yay! Gold stuff. Wonders. Huzzah! Let's go. Oh, and this is the game disc. It's a really old copy, so it's going to be a bit slow. So, magnifying glass is your primary tool of movement in this game. So there's no arrows or anything except for the backup arrow and the the spin arrows. Besides that, there's no arrows. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. How do you know I don't believe in ghosts? <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Hmm. Is your intuition this is Abby, by the way. She is weird. Recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Well... You'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. <laughs> Do you dare mock the supernatural? Yes. Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um. So she's going to own for about the next 15, 20 minutes. I'm not sure how long it'll take for us to get to that point in the game. And this is the main dining room area. And we have Rose. She's the main person. Let's talk to her. 
Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed, and just last week we had a gas leak. Hey, she rhymed. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. I can understand your frustration, Rose. Do you think it's just bad luck? Ah, it's just bad I'm luck. I'm not one of course to believe it is. in bad luck. But it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. That's right. Take a look in the corner. Just don't give us a those slider puzzle because we don't like those. Those inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. Also, it saves some kind of money. Like command <laughs> Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. Sure, sure, sure. Inlay time. Right click to rotate. And it has to be perfect for it to work. If it's not perfect, the puzzle won't work. And you'll be stuck here for hours. So just wait for it to turn that color-ish. And then the piece will fit into place. And you don't want a single bit of white. And this is annoying to fit. I might have to find a different triangle. I think I'll have to find a different triangle. Maybe this one will work. No. There, maybe it'll, there it works now. Maybe this triangle goes somewhere else. I don't know exactly remember this puzzle that well. Let's put that triangle back. This shape will go here, maybe. Guess not, maybe, I don't know. It needs to light up for it to be right, or else it's never right. I'm pretty sure it's piece of Yeah, there it goes. It lights up now. not gonna work. That won't work either. That's the same thing. Here though. Looks like it's good. Alright, now we just have to throw these triangles in, wait for them to glow. And one more triangle should do it. This one is. Come on, thank you. And. Right, it has to be perfect, too. And there can't be a single bit of white. Oh, this is not perfect enough. Ah! annoying because it's all the pieces are in as you can see there we go best to be perfect I did it you did let's go talk to Rose how's that inlay puzzle coming along I finished it wonderful but now I've got something else for you she just I sat there a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling you'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job we can I'm use our not key. sure where Charlie keeps them. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's squinting evilly at us. She's putting <laughs> on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Alright, so now we just go find paint scraper. This schedule will tell you when people are in. Lewis is at, will be here at noon. Charlie's already here. I'll we'll go talk to him in a bit. Abby's here except between 3 and 6 to do, I'm not sure what she does, so... Charlie's close, she's right down in the cellar, so let's go talk to him.
Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. It sure is a yeah, big house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work. But I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. Do you think you'll be open in time with all of these accidents and delays? Um, yeah. Well, now that you're here, sure. <laughs> you don't sound convinced. No, I am. I, I mean, I, I know Rose is all concerned, but you gotta expect a few things to get out of control with these big projects. Accidents happen, you know? I guess. I take it you have a lot of experience with Whoa, this you're smiling animation. creepy. I was looking at the text I and know, not your animation. But I learned quickly. Even Lewis said so. Have you met him yet? He's helping Rose with the house. Yeah, he showed me how to do some of the remodeling work. No, I haven't met him yet. Does he work for Rose? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting hey, work for Rose, question. like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Do you have any idea why there's been so many accidents <laughs> in this project? I need to start no watching the animation People more. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. She does. She gave us a chore already. I guess that... I'm guessing that line's probably intended if you come to Charlie first and don't see Rose. But we already saw Rose, so that doesn't work. Famous drinks and concoctions and blah. Potions, maybe, too. I don't know. Alright, so we can go grab a pink chipper or we can meet Lois, but Lois isn't going to be here for another two hours. Yeah, there's a chisel. So let's do do do. Walk up the stairs. Do 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 do. Run, Nancy. I need a paint scraper. I know. So there's that. Now it's gonna be there for now. We have to find the key. Abby's still homing. Let's see here. Uh, and here. The rope is the cut. Rope is cut. So we're gonna find somebody to tie that to fix it, I guess. Uh, what time is it? We have hour 45 till he gets here. We got a long time to wait. Let's go to the parlor while we wait for Loey to show up. We can read this book about the subterranean San Francisco and how you can fall in the holes if you're not careful. Get creeped out by ghosts, I'm not scared anymore. That scared me a lot when I was younger, though. Not as much as that snake from Shadow Ranch, though. I don't know why. Well, now, let's see here. Uh, we have a fire extinguisher. It's good to know. It's good to know. It's here. Uh, over here, we got some old letters. You can read them. Yada yada de rose. Yada yada de rose. Uh, close the drawer, please. Thank you. I have a telephone. We can call people. Let's call the police. 911. No. Uh, I'm curiosity. Will that work? We're sorry. Your nope. call cannot be. Alright, so let me see here. We'll call people. Let's call Bess. One, five, two, three, five, 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 four, four, six, eight. Damn bad, dude. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Let's get say this right now. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco. George, this is the voice that George has here is my favorite from all the Nancy Drew games. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. I wish she were still her now. Some strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh oh. Aww. Well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? Uh, let's just talk to her because we need to kill time. Handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. <laughs> Bess, is that all you can think about? No. 
<laughs> I should just go. That's in. creepy, Talk kind to of. You later. She's Bye, just like, Nancy. No. <laughs> oh, look, back up. And hang up the phone. Are we still up an hour fifteen? So we talked to George and Best for like half an hour, maybe. Oh, wait, hour and a half. Time to snoop on his computer. Well, I need Ramirez. That was now it's not loud. L O U I S. And then Anti I. Antiques. Haha. -ha. Playing off of memory. I never just do about computer. Yada yada yada. Storage unit. Better write that code down. This is just briefcase. I don't know if his briefcase is there. If it is, I'll come back and look at it again. And then the rest is not available, I think. Yeah, not available. Not available. Back up. Yeah, his briefcase isn't here, so it'd be pointless. When the four-sided box loses its border... Keep track of them symbols! That will help you later. The history of pi- oh, we don't need that. I can play the piano. Legends of San Francisco. This might be interesting. Oh, no, it's not. Just Lizzie Applegate, yeah, blah, blah. It won't fit. I made the fine glass won't fit in there, so we can't mess with it. Here, what's this book? Um, won't tell us, so we open it. Oh, it's just about the Firebird. And over here we have a tile. I'll leave those books unorganized. But when we back up, Nancy will fix it for us. One hour! Let's see, what can we do to kill time for an hour? We could just set the clock. Hmm. Let's call. Let's call people. Uh, let's call five two three five 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 three seven three nine. That's home. We'll get to talk to Hannah. Only time in an answer to your game when we can. Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Nancy, how are you? And how's Rose? Great. I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. I didn't realize Rose was so young. How it's you she, not it? Rose. Doesn't she look great? You'd never think she was a day over 50. I met Rose at the River Heights Community Theater after she retired from the school district, don't you remember? Abby was working with us, too. Have you met Abby yet? Yeah, she's kind of yes. funny. She thinks the house is haunted. Abby has always been a little dramatic. But Rose tells me she really believes in that spiritualism stuff. A waste of time, if you ask me. Rose I agree. some accidents she's been having. What do you know about them? She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. Do you suspect there's something more to these accidents? <sighs> I don't know. Rose is under a lot of pressure to open that bread and breakfast on time, and I'm worried that it may be too much for her. I imagine the mansion was very You're just going to talk to her about everything, which Rose is spent her not ordinary for me. On the house. I'm just trying to kill if time. If it doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. Uh, time. Half an hour, okay. Um, what can we do for half an hour? Do, we can walk around the manor. Do, 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 do 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 running along the stairs la 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 I have nothing to do so I don't mind just wasting time running on the stairs Let's turn around and walk the other way now What time is it? Well we killed 15 minutes just running on the stairs ha ha do 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 let's take a turn just run around the hall la 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 open the door 
Back up the stairs. Do 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 do. Turn, 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 turn. Run down the stairs. Do 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 do. Open the door. <laughs> go up the creaky stairs. La 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 la. Turn, 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 turn. Not go to our room. Do 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 do. Open the door. Are we there yet? Nope. Fifteen minutes. Whoops! I turned around. Open the door. A couple more cycles should do it. Do 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 do. Turn, turn, turn. La 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 do 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 open the door la 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 start working our way to the parlor do, 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 do. spin around in circles open the door uh, how long is 15 minutes gonna take oh it's time they're opening the doors and Lois isn't here um do do open the doors Pretend we're leaving. Oh, we're not leaving. Ha 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 Back up. Spin, there's the door. Open it up. Open. Open these doors, and Lois better be here. No, oh, was that noon? This is exactly noon, I guess, but still. Let's go. Other stuff, I guess. Talk to Charlie, maybe. Yes! We'll wait till it's a little afternoon, I guess. Hey, Nancy. I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Fine by me. Ah, uh, we can tell Rose stuff. Whoops. How are the tiles coming along? I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting. But unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. And surely he's here by now. It's 15 past the hour. So we just run across the hall. Yeah, running. And Lewis, you better be There we go. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. You must know a lot about the house. Kind of like, uh, Nigel. Actually, I'm I a guess. bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. What are Never you using friendly. the library for? Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. What are you looking for in these books? I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment. And although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Okay, we'll let you get back to your book. Just kidding. I'm sorry, but I really must finish my work. Perhaps Abby can assist you. Good day. I doubt it says that in the senior detective mode. Because that is a clue to go to Abby. Because Abby will be done oming now. And she's going to say the spirits wish the to speak with you. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Please sit down. We really don't have time for this. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. 
Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Oh, you will anyway. That noise is still creepy. Um, yeah. Alright, we've been going about half hour already, so it's the middle of the night now. Let's just go around and scare people. Alright, so that was Abby just wailing about life. Crying. So Charlie's not here anymore, so we can go explore him. Explore his area at least. It's made much progress on that piece of wood, I must, I must say. And if we open this up, we get the key to... Let's close this. I think it's the key to the attic. And then here, get a tape. And you can see that Abby staged that seance. Alright, let me just steal Charlie's screwdriver real quickly. Whoops. Back up. No, that was right. Run up the stairs. Whoa, I must have missed something because I was running. Uh, run back to our room. Do, 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 do. On the way there. You can unscrew this and see. Abby is the one behind the spooking. She's been spooking us with speakers and sound effects. And she's probably the one who went, yeah! in here. That was a really bad version of what she did. See, can you use a screwdriver or the chisel to get that off? I'll prove it right now. We found the chisel. Yeah, either one will work. So now we have everything we need to go to the attic. Do, 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 do. Run up the Good attic. Luck. Throw this key in. Inside. Come on, okay. See a scythe in the corner, and there's a bunch of stuff in here. This book. We don't need to read that. And nothing else important there. And then this desk. We got the key from Nancy's bed. It's in it. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Of course there is, Nancy. There always is. Or everything they want you to see. So I make long, complicated puzzles to it. Oh well. Let's offer that desk. And then over here in the corner, we got a crowbar. And this is a book of that unimportant stuff. You can't hardly read it either. <laughs> here, uh, we have an iron. So shut the door. This paper is about the Golden Gate Gazette. There's a towel right there. Then we can leave. Yeah, the rope's breaking, so just keep your crowbar ready. Uh, we can do more stuff here at night. While everyone's asleep, we can run downstairs. Throw our... Use our iron to open the door. And put it on here. Close the door. Now, oh, it was the right way. Run upstairs, and then, whoa, don't go talk to Abby. And here we have a tile and then a Chinese symbol. When the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray and hit beneath the river of colors. By uh, something golden run there's that was right, wasn't it? Yeah. This is just a spinny puzzle. You wanna spell Diego? Coins False Floor. I never figure out what that refers to, but it's 
It's obviously saying there's a false floor somewhere. I know what it means now. It means there's gold coins underneath a false floor, and this chair is gonna creep you out. Someone was sitting there before we came in. Let's go in here, and then we can throw these towels in place. Do, 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 do. And where's the last one? There we go. And back here, we can pull a lever. Huzzah! Glue this back up. Secret passageway. Creepy. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. And know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. Spawn people using this. Shut that. Close brick. Pull the lever. Leave now. And the creep is going to follow us for some reason. Let's go up here. No, oh, it's back to. Whoa! Someone was running right there. Oh, we're going to have to use the key to open the door. What am I doing? And we can use this. It's stuck. That's stuck. So we can lift it, then we grab our lantern and run. <gasps> Don't run into there because you'll fall and die. You can put the lantern away in this area. Oh, and this is just a bunch of stuff. Take the turn paper, steal his turn paper, read his postcard if you want to. You have to turn around and then you back up. The king of the sky will shine his ray. Yeah, that's just stuff, and then. That's all for Charlie. It's just showing you that Charlie's been hiding out in this area. I'm surprised it's not here, because what is it? It's 11.30 at night. Kind of weird. Alright, so go forward, turn around, and we can go do stuff in Lewis's computer area. I probably should save this game, so in case something happens. Yeah, good idea. Save. Load. I'm not sure why the music is suddenly loud. Uh, well, we have to stick the floppy disk in first. You go in? I think it did. Okay. Whoops. That's all UIS. And then antiques. And then the floppy disk. You can read the term paper. Seems like Charlie knows, knows a lot about the Great Christmas Robbery. And will take that back for you. And we can leave. We can call Bess and George in the middle of the night, but we don't need to. We need to go to bed. Oh, now the music's quiet. Oh, that's weird. Oh, well. There's Abby snoring like a dog. Ah! Alright, let's just see here. Set this for midnight and Nancy will say something funny, I think. Well, she does one time if you set it for an odd time. Let me look here. Let's set it again. You keep saying it for weird times, so eventually she'll still say something. Come on, Nancy. Oh, maybe it's if you set for the same I think it's if you set for the same time. Let's try it. Oh, Nancy, you're making this annoying. Let's just see here. Oh, well. Well, if you if you just say it, she'll be like, Oh, I feel like I'm turning into a vampire. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh, I would just have you one of my times when I was young to get her to say that. <sighs> sure, now you say it. Nancy? Well, it's morning, Nancy, but still. Note. Who was it from? Leave the mansion now, you imbecile! You're not wanted here! I hate your life! Roar! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Was that snoring? Abby? You're pathetic.
pathetic. Just pathetic. Good thing we're awake because... Someone set a fire! They grab the extinguisher. If you go forward, you die immediately. Because you can't back up. For some strange reason. Well, put it out. I know. Well, what's funny about this sequence when my mom played it is that she went forward and she tried to back up, and then when Nancy said it's too late, she said, But I knew where the fire extinguisher was! Oh, gross. None of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. What do the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No, I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. I Let's can try it. Let's go find I'll Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. There's a magazine over here in the corner you may, you may have missed. Yeah, it's just talking about stuff that's for sale. And what time is it? Hopefully it's 11? That's 1 o'clock. Well, we can return the floppy disk. Whoops. Give this... Nah, we don't need to do that. Hey, Nancy. Hey, there's been another accident. You've got to believe me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one. So I returned it. Ooh. And that's all there is to it? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. So, yeah. do you have any proof? I'd better not say any more. Sorry. Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. I was wondering where it was. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. That must be an interesting paper you're writing. I just started to write it, so I don't know very much about the robbery. It's hard to separate fact from fiction, especially when most of the information is based on rumors. Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. No, oh, you liar. You your renovation. Yeah, proof. I'll be here if you need me. Proof. We're gonna go take the scroll bar. We're gonna go back there and I prove it to you. wait until he leaves. We have to wait till he leaves. And then we can't show. Whoops. I want, I want to hit the door knock. I'm not. I want to open the door. Not do that. Okay. Time. Oh, I'm here already. Oh, let's go talk to Lois. No, it's Lois. Whoa, can we just open this now? Nope. Gotta wait till the end of the game. Uh, let's investigate the scene of the fire. Oh, he used a bunch of papers to burn. He used those letters we saw in the cabinet over there. So we look now. Nothing here. And the drawer now sounds like a paper opening for some reason. A paper opening for, yeah, for some reason. Not sure why. Lois! Lewis! Ah, Nancy. Not Lois. What a shame Lois. to have it's lost those else. papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. Uh, did you see or hear anything in the did parlor? Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Insulation wasn't I that good back longer. then, so... Goodbye, Nancy. It's better in my house than in this house, I'll tell you that probably. And again, I don't know. So, it's time to go do some good old detective work. We need to do some quick thinking. We need to run to our room. You have become completely distracted by all of the spiritualism stuff. I think you were in the parlor, either burning candles or using that flash paper. Well, excuse me for trying to find some ways to promote this place. It's good business sense. Well, I guess we won't have to worry about advertising if the mansion burns down. You've given up. You want the mansion to burn to the ground. That way you won't have to worry about losing your investment. You'll just collect the insurance. How dare you? Are you accusing me of fraud? I'm sorry, Rose. I don't know. It's just... All these accidents 
house, and now this? I know you're dedicated to this house. I'm sorry for doubting you. Let's just finish up these curtains. I think the stress of the last few weeks has finally gotten the better of us. Well, if I knew it was better audio there, I would've gone forward. Oh well. Um, where were we before they started bickering? Alright, we were gonna go back a couple hours and then run down to Lois. Lewis! Okay, run down to Lewis. Run, 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 take the stairs. Do, 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 do. Spin! Come on, run. Go faster, Nancy. I could go fast. I don't know if I could go faster than this. Pull the lever. I should wait until I'm Dang alone. It. Not fast enough. Now he's here on the. Uh, what time is he? Li he's like here at noon at three. I'm gonna try three o'clock, then we'll run back. Come on, run, 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 run! Open the door. Set the alarm for three, one, two, three. Now we have to run. Open the door. Run, 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 Wow, we're going faster this time. I love how I say that and I get stuck. Spin the other way. Open the door. Running. Spin, please. Ignore the phone. I should wait until I'm Dang alone. It. How's the phone follow us? Wait. You can hear stuff out there, so he's not isolated. He lied. Uh, let's answer the phone. That was pointless. That phone just proved something. Let's go to the dining room and see what we can learn there. Maybe, we can, I, maybe it was like 4 o'clock, I don't know. Probably read the paper wrong. Let's see here. Oh, it's 5. Not even 4. Let's go, let's take the back stairs, because they're closer. Run, 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 run. Not you! Don't look at that. Look at I wanna go to the alarm clock. Set it for five. Right now now it's five o'clock. Lewis will be leaving. So we just run, 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 run. Do, 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 do. Spin, Nancy, spin. Spin more. Go in here. Uh, run, 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 run inside. Open the brick. Open the slider. Open the door. Get slow down. Hmm. Lewis is up to something. Aha! That's it! Lewis, are you in there? I'll be right there. Hiding something in his briefcase. <gasps> we better go find out what he's hiding. Close the thing. Close the rock. Close the door. Open the door. Alright, open the computer. And that will get their magic. Oops. Lewis Antiques. Sure, I didn't hit the sh Oh, who cares? Keys! Storage unit, business, laptop maintenance, briefcase. Let me open the notes. Let me write this down. Briefcase is four, six, five, three. On the left and on the right, four, eight, six, eight. Thank you. Close the keys. Back up. Back up again. Uh, open the briefcase. Left is. Four, six, five, three. The right is four, eight, six, eight. Bam. 
and this is a book. Hmm. Gumbo foo? What's that? Who knows, Nancy? Matches! Evidence. This is a book on Victorian antiques. So he's interested in the treasure that's hidden in this house. And that's an article about Nancy Drew number two. Stay tuned for danger. Now we know about Gumbo Foo. We are going to go over here. Call Emily. Which is 555-5367. Hurry up, please. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy! Nancy Drew? I haven't heard from you in ages. How's Hannah and River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? I sure am. I'm staying with Rose Green, a friend of Hannah's, in a Victorian mansion. I'm helping out with renovations. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. I'm just gonna end the call and I'll call, call her back to get I'm down to town. business. I'll talk to you later. Wait, don't go yet. How are you doing? Anything Emily Foxworth can help you out with? Yes. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo foo. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Someone was Talk watching soon. us because you heard a door close. Hurry up. Now we're gonna let's see who's here. Abby will be here in 15 minutes, and Charlie leaves at 8, so. I think, or it's here 8 or 6, so I'm hoping it's 6. Oh, he leaves earlier, okay. Well, let's go ask Rose because she's here. Hello. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Do you know what gumbo foo means? No. Not that I can remember. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Yes, bye. Now let's run to Abby. Abby. Hi, Nancy. I can't believe we had a fire. I can't believe it. I'm not gonna I talk bet about Charlie that. was down there before it started. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Gumbo foo? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? <laughs> gumbo uh, is pretty good. My dad makes a pretty later. smashing one every Thanksgiving. That's wait. That was Abby. What am I saying? <laughs> Let's turn it to noon. Then we'll go see Lewis, and we'll go see Charlie, and then at three o'clock. Set for two, run to Charlie, and then run to Lewis. Because I think Charlie leaves at three or something like that. I don't know. So let's run to Charlie. Charlie! Yes! Hi, Nancy. What's up? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. I'll let you get back to your renovation. See ya. Doo doo. Now we run over here. And run to Lewis. Turn around. Open the door. Lewis should still be here. If not, oh well. Yes, Nancy. Uh, where is it? There it is. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses gumbo fu. I won't keep you any longer. Good day. House of great books, eh? We'll see about that. Oops. We need to do two things. Let's go run to Rose real quickly. Maybe this will work. I'm not sure if it will. I think it will. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, 
I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the Winter Festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Now we can go to our room. Actually, we're going to our room anyway. We need to set the alarm. We have it. We're close to the end already. Jeez. Let me check. Yeah, you're Hello. here. Goodbye. Uh, I'll let you get back Actually, to what you were doing. Actually, we'll later. talk to you. Hello. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yeah, it was you. Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Oh, well. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Bright blessings. I'm not sure what bright blessings mean, but I'll take them. They mean happy things, I assume. Alright, so let me look here. Uh, we need to set the clock for three. Then we can go snoop in Abby's, and then we'll come back and open the wall in here. Because over here, there's a wall. We'll do that later. She's gone. And the uh, gonna take a while to load because they haven't been in Abby's room yet. And the game's not used to us running in Abby's room. Because we pretty much run ran all over the rest of the mansion, but not Abby's room, no, no. Abby's room is quite interesting, kind of. If you're a seance kind of person, not that I'm saying I am, it's just I can't find it cool. At least the music is it's very fitting for who Abby is. Oh, this thing. Oh, it's just a bunch of stupid, scary sound effects. And you can put this tape in to learn more about how we stage. Who has she called staged me the forth from the great beyond? And then we can have to go put the spider back, so Abby won't suspect anything. And then that's something up here. We missed the spy cameras in there, but basically it's showing that Abby can spy on people. Uh, do do do. It's a guy. There's stuff. There's creepy cards that she has. I'm not sure what they do. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his ray. Those more than Maddie over there. No, I want to back up. Thank you. More than Abby. This book here. The zodiac and you. That will help you later. <gasps> she spies on people. Ha! No, shut the door. And then in here, that's the last thing in this room. It's mastering the art of illusion. Yada yada yada. Tambourine and dead flowers. So we can leave now. The door sounds different from the outside than the inside. L look, I'll prove it. See, different. Oh, it doesn't do for inside, but when you come from the out inside, sounds weird, and then it's a regular slam. Uh huh, figures. Alright, let's turn this way, and then there is a letter from Emily. Nancy? Golden She's just telling us that that house means. What's it mean? Means gold treasure mansions. What gumbo foo means? Let me just open this real quickly. And then Nancy has added stuff into the journal a lot. Somehow she's added that in. It's locked. I know it's locked. I want to back up. And here we go. Final set of puzzles in the game. 
First we have this puzzle, it's a symbol puzzle. I'm gonna press these in the right order according to the book in Abby's room. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, now I have to put this in order of the way it was on the poem. Then we found the symbol. So First is this one. Listen, my child, to the story of dreams. Uh, I think it's this one next. Yeah, note that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. Uh, next, isn't it the daughter's next? I think it's the daughter's next, so spin, please. Aha, it's this symbol. Yes, this is daughter. Then this one for the four somethings. Five is this. The eye of the phoenix is in your hand When the bird of fire can see again When the moon sleeps and the sun plays The king of the sky will shine his ray And hidden beneath a river of colors. Something golden wonders. Golden wonders. Golden wonders. Who is golden wonder? Wonders. Let me see here. This one. Did I do it wrong? Try again. Listen, my child, the story of dreams. You know the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters. Yeah, yeah, ten daughters. Then the four sided box lost its border. Then the Eye of the Phoenix is in your hands. The bird of fire can see again. Moon sleep, sun play. King of Sky will shine his ray. And hidden beneath a river of colors is golden wonders there we go maybe the disc didn't respond the first time i don't know all right so now we got a bunch of stuff in here and hopefully the yes we do it's time for this puzzle which is Oh, we have to spin the box. Oh, and this one, it's a, you gotta get all of them sunny. It's not, uh, you can play around if you want, or you can do it the easy way, which is four corners and then center. I'm doing this off of memory. And then it was a slider puzzle. I did not, I asked for none, but I knew it was coming, so. There's no picture reference, so it's a little difficult.
There we go. Oh, we're getting close. I would love to skip slide puzzles, but I can't, so... Let's just look at it. Hopefully we'll get it soon. I may have to do a little editing on this video. I don't really want to, though. Slider puzzles. I want to know it. Oh. Wow. Just like whenever I ran talk about puzzles, it solves it. Just like with the hidden objects. I might not know about this actually yet, so uh, I better not say it. Well, I will. Then you can know what to expect. And final cut. Death on the silver screen whenever I can't do a hidden object. <laughs> ah! <laughs> A hidden object puzzle, I yell at, I yell Linda, who is a person who's a bad guy in the game, and I yell, LINDA! And it usually works. Anywho. End. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. Ha <laughs> ah! Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Lewis? I knew it! There must be over a million dollars in here. I gotta stop him before he gets away. We can we gotta run up the stairs without running practice. And you know, if you're paying attention while we're running down the stairs, you know we have a sand chandelier tied up right here. Just untie it three times. What? Hey! He'll go, what? Hey! Hey, hey! Get me out of here! 
Dear Bess, I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. Lewis was behind all of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories, and the place is booked solid for the first month of its opening. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days, even if there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy. You should say I think, cause later in Ghost of Thorn Hall you should see a ghost. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt they were hinting at that way back then, but you never know. This was like in 2000, you think. I think this may have been in 2000. We'll find out when we're done with the credits. So, that was Message in the Haunted Mansion. In case you haven't been paying attention, this is a one part uh, walkthrough. I, uh, uh, I think for Nancy Drew games, I'll be making them one parters, unless it's a really long Nancy Drew game. But, uh, yeah, these. I've only really done one another Nancy Drew game here before, and it was one part. Uh, Joe has done uh, Ghost, Ghost Dogs in the Lake with a special guest, but that was one part. Um, that those I never I didn't watch that one through, but I assume it was a blast. I don't know. Uh, if you want more Nancy Drew from us, head over to GeoJo 2000's channel. There's a link on the channel page. Uh, he has almost every Nancy Drew game up on there. Uh, except for White Wolf of Icicle Creek, although that might change this summer, I do not know. All I know is that we have a, we have a whole lot of videos set for release this summer. I just hope it will last the whole summer. I don't know. Down here, down here, down here, down here. Bob Love, sheesh. And I missed the cast during my rant. Oh well. Message behind match was developed using Microsoft Direct X and C. Nancy Drew's a registered trademark of Simon and Schuster Inc. Copyright in the Nancy Drew books and characters is owned by Simon and Schuster Inc. 2000. Are interactive for girls who aren't afraid of a mouse. Visit our website, www.herinteractive.com. Please subscribe to the channel you are watching this video on. Just hit the subscribe button right next to the channel name. Thank you for watching. See you next Let's Play.